Well, hi there, everyone. It's Valmore. And we're back in my kitchen today for two more recipes from the Heroes Feast cookbook. The first one is Halfling Oatmeal Sweet Nibbles, which are a cookie that would probably be served during afternoon tea. Uh, there's an argument you could serve it during 11sies, but I think afternoon tea fits better because you have the cookie baking throughout the day. And so the next is going to be cocoa broth, which is a hot chocolate drink that could be served with afternoon tea, but because the recipe calls for coffee, I think makes more sense to be served at 11sies. And I know I'm excited for both of these, so let's get started. So for the nibbles, I'm going to start by mixing together some of the dry ingredients. And with that, I'm going to start with flour, oats, baking soda, and salt. And I'm just going to stir that together. In a separate bowl, I'm going to add butter, brown sugar, and I'm going to beat those together. Now that that's mixed together a bit, I am going to add an egg and vanilla. I'm going to beat that together a bit. Now I'm going to put the oat mixture in and again stir that together. Now this is going to get finished off with some butterscotch chips and some chocolate chips. And I'm going to get all that mixed together here too. Now it's just time to scoop them out and put them on the baking sheet. So after getting them all lined up like this, I'm going to throw them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now I know you're not supposed to eat raw cookie dough, but who can resist the allure of licking the beaters? So for the cocoa broth, it's no surprise we're going to start with cocoa, brown sugar, cinnamon, cardamom, salt, and water. I'm going to whisk this together and bring it to a, bring it up to a simmer. So the halfling creatures to me, it's weird that they call themselves halflings. Because the name was kind of given to them because they look like they're about half a human. Why would a race that had never seen a human call themselves that though? And in my research, I wasn't able to find much else as far as other names they might have. Now one of those names might come across as Hobbit, and halflings are modeled after hobbits, so you might think that'd be a name, except the name Hobbit is trademarked by the Tolkien Foundation, so it's unusable. The only thing that I was able to find was that in the Forgotten Realms and Mistara, they sometimes refer to themselves as Hin or Hinfolk. But I guess it really is a credit to the friendly nature and desire to avoid confrontation that they began referring to themselves as halfling. And now that that has started to simmer, I'm going to add the milk. And I'm just going to let that simmer for about another 10 minutes. So now that that's been simmering for about 10 minutes, I'm going to add in the coffee and vanilla. And just whisk that around a bit and let everything kind of mix together. So I'm impressed again with the halfling cuisine. 
The cookies had just enough of a crunch on the outside and were nice and soft in the inside. They were sweet and delectable. The chocolate chips and the butterscotch go so well together. And I just love oatmeal cookies. So it was a wonderful snack. The cocoa broth is delicious as well. It's rich and layered with flavors. The cinnamon and cardamom, they come through in very nice ways. The brown sugar makes it sweet, although not too much. Uh, I definitely wish I had some marshmallows that I could have put on top. That would have added some sweetness. And it just gets that little bit of extra bitterness from the coffee. And it's, it's wonderful. And I like the fact that this, the rumor about it is it came about when a halfling used a wish spell for the perfect fireside beverage. That's just like a halfling. Using one of the most powerful spells for food. But whatever, if that's the case, I approve. It was wonderful. I hope you enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Valmore. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come back next week for another recipe.